Are you looking for a quick, professional way to automate batch management, secure every endpoint, and simplify IT operations no matter where your devices are? So whether you manage a small business or a global enterprise, Automox helps you patch, configure, and control all your Windows, Mac OS, and Linux endpoints from a single cloud-native platform. Automox is the leading cloud-based patch and endpoint management solution trusted by thousands of organizations. It provides automated, policy-driven batching for operating systems and hundreds of third-party applications. They have hands-free configuration management, vulnerability remediation, remote troubleshooting, and real-time reporting all without the need for on-premises servers or VPNs. With Automox, you can automate patching across different softwares or operating systems and endpoints anywhere in the world. You can also enforce configurations and eliminate shift using ready-made or custom worklets. You can deploy software and updates with a few clicks while also remediating vulnerabilities while automatically or manually. You can troubleshoot remotely and resolve issues 49% faster. So in this video, we'll walk you through signing up and setting up your Automax account, installing this agent on your endpoints, and creating and automating patch policies. So without further ado, let's go! First things first, head over to their website, which is autobox.com. From in there, just input right here your email, then click on next, and then just head over and then create your account. Once you have created your account, this is what onboarding looks like. So we already set up our account, so we need to add a device. So click on this add your first device, and then just enter in here the key that you want, or you can also download the installer. So click on this download installer option, and it will download that. So once the installer has been downloaded, head over and then click onto this particular downloaded file. So this is the installer for the agent. Click onto this next option right here and click on next again. Then input right here the access key that provided and click on next. Accept the terms and service and click on next again and then continue with the installation. So this will install the particular Automax agent for your actual needs. So once it's done, you can see in here this. Configuration has been succeeded, so click on next and then finish the installation. As you can see, the device has been added and you can also head over and then help scan for updates for that device. You can see in here that device as well as available patches for that scan as well as critical patches. So in here, as you can see, there is no available updates discovered using the scan. So you do not need to patch your device anymore. Next thing we need to do is we need to create a group. So click on the this create group option and enter in here the group name. So for example, let's just name it just like this and then click on the this create option. Once you have done that, this will actually prompt you to this part wherein you can add name and color, policies, and devices into this group. So we have in here the group name. You can choose in here the parent group as well as the scan interval for that group. For this, I'll choose it at around 12 hours. And for the group color, let's choose it into blue. You can also add notes right here. You can see in here the OS patch management. So in here, we have the Windows and Mac OS patch management. You can either keep the device setting, disable OS automatic updates, or enable it. So you have the option to disable that based on your actual administrator wherein your device or endpoint has been added. So if you want Automax to handle all patching on these devices, you can disable OS automatic updates. You can also see in here the Windows Update Source. You can choose from Device Settings, Windows Update, or WSUS. Now in here, you can add devices onto this particular group. Click onto this Assign. And then just choose in here the device that you want to add. Click onto this assign devices to group and in here it's been added. 
From it there, click on the this update group option and as you can see that group has been updated. So we have two groups. We have friends which has a 12 hours scan interval as well as default for 24 hours. So you can see in here all of the group that we have available. So let's head over right here into our dashboard. So, under your dashboard, you can see in here all of your compliant devices as well as policies executed for the last 7 days, as well as available updates and new devices. You can see in here how many devices require your attention and they're actually color-coded to their needs. Some needs only restart while some are disconnected as well. You can schedule in here the policies and you can also see the graph for the environment by OS. Now you have in here the automate option. So you can click on that and you can see in here the policies. So did you know that you can automate policies using Automux? In order to do that, click on the this create policy option. From in there, it will show you some patch policies to, that you can choose from. So we have in here the patch all, manual approval, patch only, advanced, as well as required software policies for each OS workload policies, and the likes. For this case, let's choose in here the patch all. And from in there, this will input right here. So you can just input right here the policy name. And then input right here some notes. And then in here, you just input the policy status as well as installation optional or recommended. So you can have the option right here. Now for this patch, you can associate some groups. So let's associate the group right here. Let's add this group and click on associate. You can also see in here the device targeting. You can enable that as well as you can schedule the actual patch for this. So you can choose local time of device or UTC as well. For this case, let's choose UTC. And for this one, let's schedule it for every month. Let's schedule it for every month right here and schedule it at around second week every Tuesday. So in here, if device uses configured batch type, it will batch the next time the device checks it. You can also enable automatic restart and end user notifications. After you have done that, click on the create policy option and it will be added from there on. Now, under the management, you can also manage softwares as well as manual approvals. They will actually show up right here and you can see in here their OS, severity, status, impacts, as well as the likes. You can also see in here all of the analytics and reports that you have on this. They have different insights, risk mitigation, as well as some other data. For example, you can click on any which one of them in order to see the documentation for that. You can also see reports based on this. You can view activity log, data extract, needs attention, as well as a lot more. So thank you so much for watching our Automux beginner tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your network. Subscribe to our channel for more insights on IT automation and endpoint management. So what are your biggest challenges with batching or endpoint security? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.